This is Cody as a nerd and Dr. Anxious. We're going to be doing our first match on Hanamura, which is an assault style map. First team to two points um, will win the game, but it's, in, it's on the competitive format, so it's a best of three. A best of three. Yep, this is our Midland Gaming Academy summer camp. Kids are trained all week. We're going to try and apply everything we've learned. Still figuring it out, y'all. <laughs> Plus elimination on the Sombra, they can push forward with this. Counting down, get ready, y'all. Perfect. Right. Bastion's just sitting in the corner. Point, get ready. Waiting for them to walk up on There you go, run for Ryan swing, the Ryan swing. He's got he has back out here though. See that Bastion in the corner, right and ball is just right and ball is just sitting in the face. Great space for a team. Trying to get everyone off the point. 
Mowed down by the Bastion in the corner. Yeah, the corner. There we go. That's a hard point. Right. Team UJ has captured the first point. Oh, there we go. There's a the hack. Get, Bastion gets hacked. Somber retreats. During hack, he's unable to go into his turret form where he gets the most damage done, but he's uh, stationary. All right. Sombra has been Sombra's getting really close to our ult right now. Yes. Their team team yeah, um, get them on the point. Team Gervais is getting really close to their ults. Um but also the Zenyatta and the Bastion yeah, are really close to their ults. Too. That Bastion ult is gonna be really scary. You can, you can essentially one shot their entire team. Yeah, Sombra flanking now. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Good, good there callback, is. good callback. Yeah. Alright. They're going to point. Yeah, it looks like Zen's saving his. <laughs> looks like someone's right. in. Sombra is getting that ult back. Um, there's an orb of discord. There we go. Bastion's on the same part. Oh, he pushed him all the way back to the first point. He missed the, the earth shadow. Oh, uh, and he got mowed down. Gets mowed down by the enemy team. Alright, they're pushing right, in while the Bastion's out. Bastion's pushing, Bastion's pushing. It looks like the, the Ryan wasted their ult. Yeah, yeah Ryan's okay, there we yeah, go. Uh, Ryan Bastion and Wrecking right Ball on a shootout uh, on that point. Darn. <laughs> That's alright, it looks like we got the other bastard shooting this bastard shootout. Oh, they got it. Sombra gets her ult off, gets, gets the hack. They're on point though, they're about to get that first stick. There it is. They're moving to the second. Oh, they got the contested. Ult getting contested. The, the Zen's moving around. Contested. They gotta get one, yep. There it is. The Sombra's the up top. The Bastion is critical, the Bastion is critical. Oh, they're gonna Sombra's gotta move in. Sombra retreats again, Sombra retreats again. There we go, we got a Bastion on point, just mowing them down. Oh, they got him though. Sombra's gotta move to point. That's game. That's game. That's first game. game. First game. Round one complete. GG's, y'all. GG's. Round one. Round one complete. Good round. All right. So the other, the enemy team is gonna get a chance to capture the points oh, they have too. The same to push back, y'all. If they can tie it up, they'll go to an extra round. Figuring it out ourselves. I think it would be best if we want to do another map. So, but who wants like two maps? My dad, my dad's for Lude Pirate. Lude Pirate? Let's see if we can see him. We got a shout out to Prelude Pirate here. Prelude Pirate. <laughs> oh, hey, Prelude Pirate. We see him now. Pilot. It's Prelude Pilot. Prelude Pilot. Pre pilot. pilot. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Pilot. Now we see. Thank you, bud. All right, let's focus on We got to get in the game. Great. Alright. Zinyata is being played by our, one of our yeah, campers. Let's switch, to our, uh, let's switch to our defense real quick, see what they're doing. Defense. Alright, so our defense needs to be working with the Fara and a Sombra, along with the Wrecking Ball. Yeah, this is our attack, our apologies. So they're... This is the, oh, these are our attackers. Yeah. So yeah. they seem to mo defense. be going more with a highly um, offensive yeah. attacking. They're going to go for a rush composition. Yeah. Right. And they're on point, same as the other team. Right, but choose not to go for that uh, the opening in the middle, and try and hold them off. The thing I don't agree with is about um, Team Gervais is that they're running two DPSs. That means that they won't have as much healing going on. So they're going to have to really play around those health packs when they go in. Speaking about the health pack, though, Summer yeah. can control those really well. Yeah. So we'll see if it works out in their favor. They, will have they have a wrecking ball on point. They yeah, weren't able to get anything. Is the Zinyata going to heal? Is the Zinyata going to heal? Alright, good job. Good job. Yeah, the call now. Alright. There you go. Alright, Zinyata's so putting the little over discords. Ah. Oh, there it is. Alright, they capped the point. The attacking team They're caps the it. point. Alright. Wow, they capped punches. that really quickly. Yeah. That was a good cap. They got three on the point now. Despite this. They're not, not able to get there in time. This, uh, despite uh, lacking a healer, they um <laughs> also distraught uh, from one of the, the yeah. teammates yeah. <laughs> after losing the point, but that's alright. Right. They're gonna push. They got more time. They're about six minutes in compared to the other team's three minutes. That far is very weak though. She doesn't have as much health. Right. Is that the thing about the the no the no she's not going for the health back so they don't have a healer on the team. Well, I'm noticing, you know, they're not going for the actual 
There it is. Just that one tap. Yep. Just one tap. Just one tap. Just one tap. The defending team seems to just be um, hanging by this wall, just waiting for them to walk up. We're gonna we'll retreat go back to the point because Somber got in and stole yep. the. Oh wow! The record wow. got there. Wow! Nice. Wow! What a, wow! What a blank! That, that was, was an insane. incredible blank. That was insane. I didn't even notice. No, I didn't even no, notice. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I, I didn't call like, it until oh. he said it. That's wow. incredible. Well, well done. Wow. Well done. So you can see now, there's four seventeen remaining for one team and two minutes for the other. So that just means we're gonna go to that uh, reset. So both teams have two. You can just see each team has the. What is this red team? Team Huge? Uh, team Huge, yeah. Team Huge has a, uh, a bit less time. Yeah, they only have with. they only have two. Oh wow, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> We're moving around. I'm a little stuck Let's here. Covering the BD Panamura. <laughs> All right, let's switch to one of the characters. All right. <laughs> all right, we got a Bastion defending gear. Not a bad pick. A Rosa Bastion. Not a bad pick at all. Oh wow. We just Those don't have any. Uh, no, all we have. I was gonna say we have very little. That was a very different changeup for Team Huji. We have a Widowmaker, Diva, and a, a Baptiste. 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 All right. Oh wow. They're gonna have consistent healing, and that Widow is just gonna be able to take people's heads I know, off. I know. A Diva Baptiste is gonna be scary. Yeah. <laughs> Did you shoot? Diva. Diva's <laughs> order is they're, already they're terrifying by itself. I know. I know. With the uh, with Baptiste ultimate, I believe if Diva shoots through it, it enhances. It will enhance That's crazy. Her. <laughs> They're talking about, there we go, there's the reload. They're gonna push to point A. Diva flies forward. See if they can get it. There's the Widow. Widow's getting ready. Oh, Widow didn't make the. Oh, she got it. Don't Ooh. worry, don't worry. Widow takes She's the flame position. She's moving up. Somber right there. Oh, Back oh wow. He's gonna shoot him from behind. Baptiste Somber's is pushing. Not Somber's just waiting for the Baptiste to walk in. Is. Somber's just waiting for the Baptiste to walk in. Oh. Uh, cool. And falls back. She falls back. Oh, She's a questionable fall back. Very questionable fallback. <laughs> There's the Ryan Bastion though, they're keeping in that corner. Yeah, the Widowmaker got taken out. Widowmaker got taken out. There. Oh, the oh, Diva pushes in. Diva pushes in. Pushes off the middle. Oh, blows off oh. the map there. Hit the shield, just barely so the map. Uh, you never want to stay close in the Ryan's face because they'll just, they'll just <laughs> well, you swing at you hammer. and swing at you constantly. And they do so much damage. It seems that Team Yuji is just. Team Jar Bay is just hanging in the um, corner. Yeah, they saw the defense. They're not able to get in. Oh. Which is. Oh. There's some hack up to the left. Would have just standing in the middle. Would have just standing in the middle. Questionable choice. Gets mowed down by the Bastion. Yeah, very questionable. The Diva. The Diva's chose to stand out in the open. <laughs> this Bastion's just been tearing people apart. Different apart. mindset. Different mindset, Jarvay. Game's not over. Keep going. There you go. That's the retake. They're pushing. Do a coordinated oh, push, switch. push all at once. You got time. Little switch up, little switch up here. We got yep. the Reaper. That Reaper is going to be really effective in close range. Yeah, I don't think the Widow is able to stick for the ultimate. Yeah, the Widow. Is, I, oh, we got another switch. I don't agree with the um, Widow pick here. Um, Widow requires a lot of got, they got hacks. But the Reaper does have that extra sustain. He's yep. self healing. His Hellfire shotguns just restore his health. The Sombra retreats again. But a range with the Bastion. I don't know if they can get it. There's eight seconds left. Push See if they can stay up. Push this. They have to push this. They have to push this. See if the Reaper can uh, get up. Reaper, you're gonna have to go to the yeah, You gotta go. You gotta go up, Reaper. Reaper, go in. Reaper, Reaper go, go in. Reaper, go in. Yep. Oh, no. There you go. You gotta oh, kill. Wow. Oh. You gotta kill. Oh, there you go. Good defense. Good defense. All right, that was the first one. They weren't able to take the first point. All right, so that means Team Huji gets to attack now. Huji, uh, and they have no, four Jervais, minutes right? to work with. No, they get to attack. Team Gervais. Team Gervais gets to attack now. <laughs> Third <laughs> easy way to see this on our part. Maybe I'm a little confused as well. Yeah. Um, oh, we had a switch hole over there. Are we good? We can pause if need be. All right, we're good. Are we good? Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're ready. Uh, Assembling the heroes. So and now we have 45 I mean, seconds to, to get ready. Team Gervais going with the Sombra and the Far again. I don't dislike that. I don't, I don't dislike I don't, that. It moment. works very right. effectively. We got the Arisa, we effective. got a Hanzo pick. Hanzo, Hanzo pick's oh, not a Hanzo bad on this pick. map, but with the Arisa nice. we'll see how it works out. Hanzo also has the ability to climb to high positions. Right. He can just this climb up walls. Very good for him. 
in, in most cases, Hanzo can one shot with his arrows. His, also, his um, sonar arrows can tell him where enemies are. Just creates a lot of flanking opportunities for um, right. the team that he's on. I think that's I think how the, the Hanzo's going to counter the uh, the Sombra with that. Yeah. So even while Sombra's sneaking the the what is it, sonar arrows, yeah, yeah. if they shoot that, they they go they're copying that. They said we don't like how they did it last time. Let's all get in this corner and yeah, blow get, them down. Just get in the corner yeah. and shoot at them. Get in the corner and shoot at them. Yeah. Uh, they just have to cap this. They just have to cap that first bar and they win. They win the game. Yeah, you see that little orange arrow. Oh, they got pushed out by the far. Oh, oh they got pushed. taken out by the far. Oh, wow, the Baptiste is down. They're going to uh, push Oh, him. he falls off point. That's <laughs> first point, yo. Team Gervais wins. What a game. What a game. Wow. Let's see what the play of the game is. That Bastion, yep. That Bastion can mow you down. Probably these kills. Alright, we got uh, another class Bastion real quick. Oh, wow. What a, oh, wow. Especially on that Wrecking Ball where it's just, just a, a big frame for Bastion. Yep, we pushed down on the old one. 3 HP. 3 HP here. Wow. What thank you, Free Loot Violet. Thank you for the follow. Just right. thank, thank you for watching. <laughs> another, that, that's all we needed. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Oh, we, that's all we, needed. <laughs> we, we all always right. love when people watch. So that's a good point. Do we have two more games? Or okay. We're doing best two out of three. Let's do so now. Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. All right. So it's best two out of three. So we're going to have another chance for Team Gervais to fight Team Huger here. Communication. Communication. Healthy communication, all right? Alright, which map are we going to do this time, y'all? Let's see. All right. If we have any recommendations in chat, just let me know. No, we don't. No one's talking. <laughs> we'll, we'll see some recommendations for next round. Let's see. Communication, positivity, you got it, bud. All right. All right, map getting started. There we go. Uh, Cody, explain this map a little bit. So Busan is what we call a control map. The goal is to capture both points. It's similar to assault, but at the same time, not similar to assault. Um, control is to just, you capture the point and you win that round. Your goal is to get to 100% before the enemy team gets to 100% when they cap it. And you only capture one point. And then you move to another um, part of the map that's, you know, that's very different. So do we want to move to assembly again? They don't play against each other. You see, Jervais doesn't play you during control. Five, four, All right. three, players. Two, just win it. One. All right. Round one. Capture we'll the objective. Yeah, there's three now. That's not three. We have time. Yeah. After this match, good. Yeah. All right, yeah. We, we mixed into a little control map here. We're going to go back to assault after this, but we're going to let this round be. See how it plays. Breaking ball. Not a bad play on either team. This map has a, a bit of a oh, the push here. The guy looks like a Zen and a Far taken out. Yep. That wrecking ball's got to fall back or else it's going to get taken out. Far is stuck by herself. Wildflower's about she to get taken out. out. She has to fly out here. Wildflower lost oh. their mech. Wow, MGC9 gets the, um, gets the D-Mech. There's a kill. He's gonna have to heal his teammate. He's pushing, he's trying to get that wrecking ball. He's trying to DPS to the Zenyatta. DPS Zenyatta. DPS Zenyatta. He's trying to get it. He's trying to get now. Yep. Yep, Sombra's gonna take him out. Oh, he gets it. So while, uh, there he goes. While Sombra's being shot. Alright, they look like they're about to take the point. Oh, they contest.
Communication, communication. There you go, we got a hack on the car. The car can't go up in the air, yeah, we got taken out. See you later. Be good with me. Yeah, I, I have to just keep staying here. As long as they're on the point, you can see the 50% the growing. That means they're about halfway through. Oh, they switched tides so. though. Zinyata old. Zinyata old to heal his team. Seems like Team Gervais now gets the gets the point. Oh, but they got a hack on the wrecking ball. And Discord orb on the Diva. Diva gets her mech back though. There we go. Oh, Diva has her old. Oh, no, no, Diva no, just got really close. Back. She's close to her yep. old. Diva can ult here. Diva ult can ult here. Yep. Oh, Diva ult on point. We get out of it. Uh, yeah, we gotta kill He got the, the far. He got the far. That's more than the enough. Far. They can push this now. Yeah. That's more they than enough. Can push just that wrecking ball. Oh, there wrecking ball drops his ult. Just wrecking ball. Just create space. Just create space. Oh, the other wrecking ball rolls into the line. This diva can execute here. There you oh, go. There it is. There you go. There's the retake. Diva ends up recapping the point. All right. Team Dude, has the point now. Bit nerve wracking at the moment. It's pretty close. Oh, Sombra activates her ult. Gets, gets the, gets the, gets um, the Zenyatta. Zenyatta can't heal. Oh, you're right. No oh, Rico has the, the shield. Alright, the point's been, point's been contested most, uh, most points throughout this game. They're, they're not really going for a. Uh, uh, this solid push is all just whoever can get on Sombra there. This Sombra has the most insane hacks I've ever seen. Team Dervais, see if you can get a, a solid push here all together. Just get on point. Team Dervais. Nice. Team Dervais ends up winning that first round. Score. One. Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're wow. picking our teams ourselves. We don't have name tags. No, we're just, we're just getting it. That's awesome. Let us know if there are any problems with the stream, okay? If there's any, you know, uh, voice problems or if there's any uh, problems with the display, just let us know in the chat, okay? We'll try and figure it out. All right, but here we're, we're moving to the second point. Team QG was able to get that first point. We'll see if uh, your base counter. If anyone's wondering, these uh, these names are based off of uh, streets in our, our base of well, not particularly on base, but of uh, downtown Columbia. It's just a, a shout out to our our uh, Midlands. Oh, wrecking ball gets eliminated. But here we go. Here's the team. Oh, wow. Um. So team. Hugi seems to be going with the Moira. That's Moira a is a highly offensive support. She yeah. can heal her teammates and then deal, deal damage. She's damaging. Damage. She's also healing to herself. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, they're getting Summer. Summer has to push back. to get the fade off. Oh, they're pushing Divas out. Oh, wow. Good healing. The Moira is getting good healing off. Yep. And she's getting good damage. Yep. Healing herself a bit here. Oh, she, got gets hacked. Hacked. she gets hacked. She gets hacked. She can't get out. She can't, she can't get, get out. She can't do the, she can't. the damage ball. Yeah. She's healing a little bit. Oh, not enough. Not enough Wrecking ball's low, though. See if that helps out the team. There we go. They got the Sombra. Good communication. Good communication. Positive communication, buddy. You got it. Alright, we got the up. We got a Reaper in now. Team. Got to get the Diva. The thing about that tiny Diva is she's hard to hit, man. She's very you hard can to heal hit. up on that Wrecking Ball. There you go. Fade out. Get a health pack. Go ahead, fade out. There you go. The bar, oh. the bar is really close to her. Oh, but she falls off the map. Yeah, it seems like Team Huge is taking this. She's doing really well. A lot better than Dervais can push back. We need a coordinated push from Dervais. Tim, oh, Diva, Diva, Diva on Team Dervais is coming up on her ult. She's go. probably going to go for a big ult soon. We got to push up. Oh. Yep. 
They haven't touched, they haven't capped the point yeah, at once. Jermay, Jermay has the Sombra ult, so Jermay can get uh, the Sombra uh, with the, the big hack on the, the, the point. They might be able to get him with push. That bar is dealing there so much damage to that D.Va, but right, she does Diva's have out. the D.Mech to fall back on. So she might just get killed it. here. Oh no, she's building up that ult charge really yeah. quick. She's going to get back her mech as soon as possible. Oh, no, the enemy, enemy diva takes her out. Sombra get the, oh, the hack, gets the hack on two. Sombra gets the hack on two. Low health. Sombra gets the hack on two. Yeah, uh, can, can, they, can they capitalize off the, the, the down point tank, at 99%. Down percent. Oh wow. wow. Team Yuji caps the point right when Team Gervais at 99%. This is insane. Are they going to let them flip this over? Oh, oh the ult Diva ult, Diva ult. Boom. Oh, she the gets mech? no one with that. Oh, she got the, she got the mech. She got the D mech. She got the D mech. Oh, oh never mind. But there's a. Uh, oh, that's scary. That's very scary. With the, like... with the wrecking ball, you can just zone people off with your mind. Because yeah. as soon as they walk in, the most characters just die instantly. Like, like your base pushing now, though. Your base just keeping so much pressure. Yeah, get the D mech, though. So much pressure, so much pressure. They get the D mech. Like oh, she gets her mech back. She gets the mech back. It's Diva on Diva oh, Violence. It's Diva on Diva <laughs> Violence. <laughs> They're just sitting in that corner. <laughs> just sitting in the corner killing each other. There you go. Bar right, they get out. the elimination. Bar helps out. Let's see. Right, what's, what's the game plan that... Um, Wrecking Ball is... Uh, Wrecking Ball was hacked, so they couldn't do much there. So I feel like they should... The Sombra works, but you have communication, to... Um, communication. Communication. Healthy communication. Y'all got it. Healthy communication. Oh, Sombra is just sitting on top. You know, yeah, getting down with that little uh, Uzi. Getting down, getting the far zone. This is an interesting far really base. It's a very close base, but... I think that go. I think this Sombra this Sombra is just taking a really good angle. She's not doing as much damage as she should be, but she's covering her control, teammates. You know. There we go. There's the overtime. Let's see if uh, okay. Yuji can capitalize. That looks like it. That's, That's it. Like, That's it. it. GGs, y'all. GGs. Oh, Diva gets the play of the game. Let's see if it's that one we talked about. It is. She gets that mech off and then she gets the ult. Play, beautiful play. Nice. You see the Farah doing it, the whole thing in the background. I got it. Beautiful play. Well done to Wildflower. Well done to both teams. Let's get some good games across. And we're going to move on to the bracket. All right? Both teams are going to put their controllers down and then we step back and we're going to get the next teams up, okay? All right. Y'all still have more brackets to go through, but let's focus. Let's talk about what we need to do. Yeah.
So our next match is going to be Team Assembly versus Team Hampton. Um, these are two very loaded teams with talent um, from what I've observed so far. So let's go ahead and let's pick. Okay. Traveling to Hanamura. Yeah, Alright. Initiating match. So teams are getting started. We're going to be on Hanamura again. Teams are still running through the game plan, seeing what they can and can't do. They're going to try to experiment to see what strategies will work on this map and what won't. The Sombra and Bastion were really effective, like just watching um, that those two characters just go at it. It was insane. Um, so, with Team... Team Assembly seems to be going for a more offensive route with the Bastion and the Hanzo. Um, Team Hampton seems to be going for a, a offensive route, but also with you know a little bit more sustain with the Orisa and the Baptiste. Orisa has her Fortify, where she can heal herself, where she can you know reduce damage dealt to her for a short amount of time to keep herself alive. I think over I think overall, Team Team Hampton has a lot more survivability compared to Team. Um, assembly. Team Assembly is going to have to be very aggressive and they're going to have to hit hard and hit very hard quick. Because with they they cannot allow that Baptiste to get his immortality fields out and they cannot allow them to get healing done. Because the moment they get healing done it's just it's over. But that immediately that Baptiste is getting pressured and pushed back. Baptiste is immediately being pressured. Alright, the Hanzo pushes out his sonar arrow. He's pressuring everyone. Team Assembly is just pressuring everyone. Right? That Hanzo is just putting up so much pressure. The enemy Hanzo pushes them down. Enemy Hanzo pushes them down, actually. Alright. Oh, there's um, Baptiste's immortality field that will keep the Hanzo alive. It gives the Baptiste not to heal. Oh, nope, they're pushing. They are pushing. Nice. Alright. Team Assembly has been doing really well in the defending end. Wow, they get a team kill. Team kill. It seems that like, so Team Assembly has been hitting hard and hitting very quickly. That's been helping them out a lot. Um, that Baptiste hasn't been able to heal, but he ends up switching to the Bastion, so that creates an offensive option too. So, I think we're um, Team, I think we're Team Hugh, Team Hampton, this is not Team Hugh. Team Hampton, where they're messing up is they're not targeting the Hanzo who's up top. Boy, they both Hanzo's are eliminated. So do they push here or do they want to keep it neutral? So there's the Bastion again, the Bastion's poking. Ryan is pushing for the health health pack. Ryan is really close to his ult. They have Hanzo all close and the Ryan all kind of coming online. Ryan going for the push. Uh, he doesn't get any more with it though. He just gets wiped here. He just gets wiped here. The Hanzo jumped out of his way just right, right in time. Alright, so there, the Bastion is pumping out damage, but he is getting damage pumped back into him. Right, Ryan is heading back to point. like Team Hampton's communication seems to be really on point. Oh, Hanzo Alt, Hanzo Alt is online. Hanzo Alt for Team Assembly is online. This is really scary for Team Hampton because if they make a push here, the Hanzo can just ult them. Never mind. Why ult when you can just push them off with good aim? Oh, Hanzo coming back up. He can just melee him here. He can just melee him here. 
Me and the Hanzos are just sitting there. We're fighting each other. Hanzo gets caught out. Hanzo's gonna get himself caught out. Yeah, he gets himself caught out. He tries it all. He ends up wasting his all. He gets caught out. Alright, Bastion gets an Elim on the other Hanzo. Other Hanzo is coming up on his all too. The Hampton Hanzo. He's at 95% right now. He could, if they all just stand there together right there on that point, they'll just get wiped instantly. Arise is coming up on her all too. Oh no! When he gets close to his ult, he switches off the Hanzo and switches to a Mercy. This could be really detrimental for Hampton. That's a really detrimental chain for Hampton. Because they're, they're trying to get more healing done, but the Mercy won't be able to do much. They get the and Bastion has his ult, he can just ult here. Uh, enemy Bastion gets eliminated by enemy Bastion. Oh, Mercy gets the res off. Mercy gets the res off by enemy Bastion. On Hampton Bastion. They need to make a push here. They're, they're, this is either make or break. Never mind. Yeah. Round one's complete. Score. Zero. Zero. Switching sides. Initiating match. Teams seem to be discussing game plan. See what they're running through. Ready for battle. Oh, you look like a man who inherited a vast drive of ostentatious wealth. I gave up my father's empire for this fortune alongside it. Attacking in. Oh wow, they just seem to be punching, punch, pumping damage in with that um, jump rattle. Um, the Zingado is going to put the order of the on that Hanzo. That Hanzo is really weak. They, they really want to keep that Hanzo from playing the game. They don't, want, they don't want Hanzo to play the game at all because the moment he starts hitting a shot is the moment it just becomes pressure. It just becomes pressure. The yeah, Arisa seems to be just pumping damage in. She needs to put her barrier up. She does not want to give that Hanzo free ult charge. Using Yada's over here fighting the um, Reinhardt. Using Yada and Junkrat are 1v1ing. The thing about Junkrat is that his, ooh, this Yada gets the solo Elam on the Junkrat. They got a team kill. With that Junkrat, he's gonna have to use the map geometry to do the to do as much damage as he possibly can. Over Discord put on the junk rat. They actually switched off to Hanzo. They yeah, they, they the other team knew to target the Hanzo, so they had to switch. A lot of teams are going for more offensive healing because both teams have Zingatas. That's in Yada with that Orb of Discord. Ooh, Junkrat gets an Elim on the Bastion. They can just push the point here. Um, there is an Orb of Discord on the line though, but he is being healed by his Zenyatta. Oh, Junkrat gets another Elim. Oh, and they just capped the point. 
the game goes to Team Assembly. Victory. Oh, the Hanzo gets the ult. Ooh! Hanzo with the clean kills. Alright, we'll go ahead and get game two started in a little bit. Now arriving at Mijang Tower. All right, we're going to be doing Lijiang Tower Control Center. Oh. Start game. Initiating match. Go ahead and get started on Li Zhang Tower. Oh wow. So Li Zhang Tower is what you call a control map. Um, there's a lot of close quarters on this map. There will be a lot of close range combat um, between the teams. And it's gonna there's little places to flank on this map. There are little places to flank on this map, um, which will control. Wait it out, wait it out. Right. There we go, we got first person view. Ready? Five, four, three, two, oh wow, one. we're seeing a May. May has the ability to freeze enemy enemy players, and she's incredibly suffocating to play against on close range maps. Cause she'll just freeze your entire team and just keep you from being able to play the game. All right, but they are seem to, um, Team Hampton does seem to be sticking with that Bastion. They seem to really highly favor it. Ah, uh, she used that way too early. Oh, now she can she throws him. Oh, and he gets the LM on her. Oh, this Ryan is just free, free swinging, just free swinging, free swinging Ryan, free swinging Ryan. They capture the point. Team Hampton captures the point, just like that. They do have the Ana on this map too, so if they nano boosted that Reinhardt, that Reinhardt would be unkillable. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I will keep you here. Oh, they're pushing from top. Oh wow, team assembly going for the new strategy, just pushing from the top. Pressuring as much as they can. Getting the high ground on the enemy team. They really need to take advantage of this high ground. 
I wonder what Team Panthers. Ooh, Team Team Assembly gets the elimination on the enemy support. They have no healing now. They have no healing now. This Ryan just free swings. This Ryan just free swings. Capture the point, just like that. Cap the point off one play. That's insane. Good, good, good teamwork. Good recognizing situations. It's really good. So. Ryan's holding his barrier up. Oh, the Zinyana gets eliminated by the Bastion. Uh, Team Hampton is going to capitalize off of that. They have no support. They can't heal. Both Ryan's have the barriers up. Ryan, oh, Ryan gets the... Ryan gets the Ash. Ryan gets the main damage dealer. Ryan gets the main damage dealer. Insane. Oh, Ryan gets his ult blocked. Ryan gets the ult blocked. Right. Oh, Ryan. Other Ryan misses his ult too. They gotta keep pushing it. It's, gotta, it's a Ryan swing off. It's a Ryan swing off. Who's the better Ryan? Oh. Looks like Team Huge is Ryan. Team Hampton's Ryan is the better Ryan. Oh, and Ryan uses the net. Ana uses the nano boost. Ana uses the nano boost. Oh, team Assembly taking the high ground again. Team Assembly taking that high ground again. Ash is gonna lead the high ground. This Ana should really. Um, this Ash should aim down her sights so she can. So she can do a lot more damage. That bastard just mowing. Oop. Gets the healing though. Is Zinyata ult? Zinyata, Zinyata ult. Bastion going for his ult. Bastion on team Hampton going for his ult. Ooh. Okay, that Zinyata is the only one on point. They can push him off. They should be able to push him off. That Zinyata was the only one on point. Good job, man. Good job. Now they cap the point again. Team Hampton caps the point again. Team Hampton caps the point again. They're at 90%. They're about to cap this. Can this Ryan force it into um, overtime? He has to force it into overtime. Oh no, Ana gets the sleep dart on him. Ana gets. Oh wow! He gets a good ult off, but he still gets eliminated. Oh, Ana's gonna get him healed. Ana has an ult. Alright, Team Hampton takes the first point. Team Hampton takes the first point. Score. Zero to one. Ready for battle. Team Hampton seems to be sticking with um, the Reinhardt and the Bastion. He can get that nano to Reinhardt or Bastion, and you know he has two big offensive options he can work with. Oh wow! Team Assembly going with the Echo. Echo gives them that um, high ground that they need to work with, and she can also execute with her um, her secondary ability. She can push that Bastion right now. She's probably gonna stick it on him when she steps out. She can stick it. She can hit. Oh, she missed her stick. Oh, she got one. Nice. The Echo. Echo 1v1 in the Bastion. Alright, here's the Ana right here. The Ana's by herself. I don't think she should try to fight this. She should get out. The Ana should get out as soon as possible. She should not be trying to fight fight a 1v3. There was a health pack right next to her. She didn't need to use her bio nade there. Alright. That echo can't really. 
Oh, Ryan. Ryan takes out the. On a, oh, they just wipe. They wipe their entire team just like that. That's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Good job. Ana's at half point on her ult. Ryan's coming really close up on his ult too. If if that that Ana gets her ult and Ryan gets his ult, he can completely one shot their entire team with his ult. Well, at least the more ran the echo. Oh wow, both Ryan's running to each other. It's a Ryan off. It's a Ryan off. It's a Ryan off. It's a Ryan off. Oh, misses that all. Ryan had his barrier up, but still gets the elimination. Gets another team wipe. Gets another team wipe. Team Assembly seems to be going for the Reaper. They want to get a little bit more close range, try to um, see who they can mow down. Oh, they're also going for the Ana, too. If you switch to the Ana, if you combine the Ana and Reaper ult, Reaper can just you know, wipe their entire team with a few shots. This Reaper's playing way too out. Reaper, Reaper wait, wastes his rain form, gets in the back line. He's gonna capitalize. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's gonna go for that Ana, too. He's in that Ana, too. Alright, the Ryan's pushing in with the barrier. They miss that. They miss that. The Ryan misses ult, goes, right off, goes straight off the map. Goes straight off the map. Ana has her nano to work with. Team Hampton can use the Ana nano to wipe. To wipe, they use that on a nano on that Ryan or the Bastion because the Bastion's really close to his ult too. They can they can just get a get a team kill and take the point, cap the point. They don't have that much to go. Team Hampton doesn't have that much percentage to go, and Team Assembly is steadily climbing back, just steadily climbing back. They need a new they need a new game plan. Here. Oh, the Ryan gets him. The Ryan gets him. Team Team Hampton gets to cap the point again. Team Hampton gets to cap the point again. Yep. Old soldier. Uh -huh. All right. He, he can get that nano to his right. Oh, never mind. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. They, they have the nano, and they Team Hampton has all three alts to work with. If they they can literally just wipe um Team Assembly off the map. Oh, uh, he wastes his nano there. This Ryan should push. This Ryan should push. The Ryan should push. The Ryan should push. Ana not getting to the bash in the heel. Dude, that was a good, that was good. Good sleep dart, good sleep dart, good sleep dart. Good sleep dart. Now the Ana gets out. Ryan uses his ult, takes out the Zenyatta. Game over. Team Hampton wins. Team Hampton wins. Sorry about the name mess up. Team Hampton wins. Alright, so... Oh, it knocks the Ana off the map. All right, we'll go and go ahead and get our next match set up, next round set up.
Now entering the Temple of Anubis. Initiating match. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and get started on our um this is a best of three format, so team ascent Team Hampton won the game last round, so they will be able to have another chance to take this best of three series. Pause. Go for a quick pause. This is the map we call Temple of Anubis. This is what we call a control map. Um, the objective here is to capture both points. Um, since both teams are one and one, each team has another opportunity to take this game, take this entire match. Um, all right, one team, team assembly will be defending. While Team Hampton will be attacking. Team Hampton is going to be going with the Soldier 76 and the Rhine. Those are two very those are two very offensive options that, that Ana can use for a run. This support, the support on Team Hampton is just gonna dictate the, the flow of this game. And they have so much healing on um on on Team Hampton. Because Soldier has his little health pool and and Anna has her healing. And Reinhardt just has so much health, so both of them can keep that Reinhardt healed. They won't have much problems to deal with it, and they can just push this point. Ooh, they attack the Zenyatta. This Zenyatta stepping out of out of position. Oh, there's a Reaper flanking. Reaper flanking. Reaper flanking. But he's gonna get wiped here unless he gets out. Unless he gets out. Yep. Oh, wow. The Zenyatta. The Zenyatta. I thought the Zenyatta was out of position there, but they don't punish him for it. They don't punish him. Hey. <laughs> Alright, they, they just they can just cap they can just defend here. Um oh they MGC I mean assembly switch to the switches to the Diva and the Reaper. I wonder what they have in this when they have. Have in mind. Ouch. Wait, no, MGC9 actually switches to the. I mean, Team Hampton actually switches to the Bastion. Uh, they, they really. Team Hampton really has to change, they change their game plan here. They, they have to change their game plan. Walking straight into that front door is just playing right into what Team Assembly wants. And the Zingata's coming up on his all. The, the Reaper is coming up on his all. He just needs a few more shots and he'll get his all. And Death Blossom and wipe them all completely out of the map. Oh, nice. Everyone avoids that. Everyone avoids that. Oh, but the Ryan's still gonna swing. He's still gonna swing. And his diva is too busy shooting on the enemy team to protect his team. But the Reaper ends up eliminating him. The Reaper also has his Death Blossom. And he's gonna pick up a little health pack. So if they try to rush them, they won't be able to because the Reaper will just Death Blossom. And just wipe everyone out. Reaper's just breaking that Ryan barrier. Ryan's gonna go in straight swinging. His team has to back him up. Team Hampton has to back up their Ryan. They can't let their Ryan just go in by himself and then sit back and expect to win. They really have to push this. And the Bastion is not good for attacking, he's good for defending. So I don't, I don't know what they're doing with the Bastion here. Lights out. Ooh. Ana eliminates. It's the elimination. She needs to heal her Bastion though. Nope, she doesn't heal the Bastion in time. He gets wiped off. Oh, they get the team kill. That's insane. Diva's working with her ult, too. Reaper has his ults, too. 
Reaper has this ult too. They have so they have two great ults to work with. Um, and they're gonna pressure you. Team Hampton going for the Mercy again. I Mercy is good if you want more healing, but she there won't be they won't won't be much you can do. So they just have to make a push here. They, you know that Mercy's just gonna get wiped. Mercy's just gonna get wiped. Oh Mercy. That Diva has her ult to work with. Oh Diva ult, Diva ult, she's gonna wipe them. Yep. They get two. They get two. The only one left standing is the bar. Can she do anything? Can she salvage this game? She has they have twenty two seconds they have twenty seconds to work with. Can she salvage this game? Can they salvage this game? I, I still the mercy the mercy pick isn't really gonna help them. This is a three v three. She doesn't really have anyone to protect her. Thank you, Falcon Giant. Thank you, Falcon Giant. I I'm got confused. I'm brain hurts. <laughs> This is a lot of good Overwatch. Assault map. Temple of Anubis is assault map. see the starting positions um every each team takes attackers incoming in 30 seconds Um, Team Hampton seems to just be going straight for defending the point. Team Assembly is just going to have to push this. Oh wow! Oh wow! They're taking a different direction, and oh no, they're going to go first. They're going to go first off. Zingada so sitting back to heal. Zingada so sitting back to heal. Right. Uh, Baptiste is going to throw out his name. Oh wow! Oh wow! Team Hampton just wipes. Team Hampton just wipes and ca and just defends the point. That's insane. So Team Assembly seems to be working with that Junkrat. Junkrat is going to have to shoot his grenades and hope that they don't dodge them. Baptiste ends up work, work, wasting his immortality field again. But there's an orb of discord on the um, enemy Reinhardt. They take out that enemy Reinhardt, they can just wipe the rest of their team. This is the battle of the tanks. If you, the, whoever's the first to take out the enemy tank, they can just push. They can just push freely. These Reinhardts are like gatekeepers. They're keeping you out. Baptiste uses immortality field. That um, move has like a really long cooldown. That's a um, really bad waste there. Because with the immortality field, he could have saved um, his Bastion right there. And they just get wiped off the point. Yep. Victor. Team Assembly wins. Play of the All game. Right. MGC2. Reinhardt got played the game. Oh, such a good play. Such a good play. Such a good play. Thirteen two thousand seven hundred twenty seven healing done. That's it. that's insane. All right, we'll.
be right back. We're gonna get go ahead and get our next match set up. Traveling to Molskaya Industries. Initiating match. All right. So this is going to be an assault um, map on Volskaya Industries. This is a very um, interesting map. It takes place in Russia. Very interesting, like a futuristic. Russia with a lot of robots. It's very interesting. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. So we got we got team Huger. So there was a mix up. There was a mix up last game. Um, I accidentally had Team Assembly named as Team Hampton named as Team Assembly and the other team named as Team Assembly. So actually Team Hampton won that last round, not um Team Assembly. So right now it's Huger versus um Hampton in the assault finals. Alright. We have a lot of game plan. What are positions are they taking? Interesting. So they're gonna. So it looks like Team Huger is just gonna um sit in that corner and wait for them to walk up past the bridge. Um, Team Hampton. Oh, 
Somber, this Somber seems to want to control the health pack, so keep, so to deny healing to the enemy team, which then they won't really have to worry about that because Team Huger has um, a Zenyatta. Zenyatta, Team Somber retreats. All right, they can take out this Wrecking Ball right here. Uh, she gets taken out by the Farah. Farah dies. Alright, where's the wrecking ball? Wrecking ball. Wrecking ball is just getting swung on. Uh. Enemies on my radar. Go online. I might need this later. Team Hugie is just. Team Hugie's falling apart a little bit. Team Hampton's falling apart. Team Hugie also trying to push this. Team Ah, they get the elimination on the Bastion. That's a huge offensive threat gone for um, Team Hugi. This is going to take out this Ryan. They got to take out this Ryan. The Ryan just holding his very up. He's very weak. The Sombra should just capitalize on that. He's very weak. No, they're going to let the Ryan get out. The Ryan gets to the health pack. Oh, now they, they get the elim. They get the elim. He was so low. He was so long for the long. For the longest. All right, they captured the first point. Now they get to push the second one. If someone can, oh, nice. they got it. They get the point. All right, now they have to push for objective B. All right. Got us pushing up. Converse in a bad position. Oh wow, the Hammond puts out his, his mines for protection. Hammond ends up putting out his mines for protection. They really can't push this. Oh, well, they really can't push him. He knocks them off their own point. Oh, but he gets eliminated. He gets eliminated. So. Alright, Sombra's really close to her. Oh, she oh, she just she present she can prevent that Ryan from alting. Her first priority, their first priority should be to get rid of those tanks, get rid of that Reinhardt. They get rid of that Reinhardt, they can wipe the rest of the team. No, she's gonna, Sombra immediately retreats. She could have fell back for a health pack there, but she decided to full retreat. She decided to full retreat. She's just stacking up her ult. She's stacking up her ult. So, oh, never mind. They, they're gonna, they get the wipe, they get the wipe. All right, Ryan has an ult to work with. Sombra also has her ult too. Oh, oh. She gets two members, but she still dies. Oh, no, she gets out. Sombra got out. So, um, the Sombra has a really interesting strategy. What she's doing is constantly going in and when things get rough she'll back out it works sometimes it doesn't really work all the time like in most cases like in this case because um because she isn't there to provide the offensive support she can i think um for attacking they should switch off that bastion bastion and sombra they should get something more um sustained to do and able to push to work with that sombra sombra requires her team to be highly offensive Cause they're all just standing on that point. Sombra should not try to solo here. She should wait till her team gets there. Oh, she gets detected. She gets detected by the Zenyatta. Wow. Uh, Zenyatta finds her and she has to retreat again. It means they don't have numbers advantage. It means two of his members are gonna get wiped. Oh, wow. Team Hugi has all three ults to work with. Oh, but it gets blocked. It gets blocked. Oh, the Junkrat's just swinging. Junkrat ults too. They just get a wipe here. That's why a wipe here. Team Hampton still does have two minutes to work with. They gotta make a push here. They really have to make a push here. That Sombra, that Sombra's not working, but... Oh, but they get the switch off to the um, Wrecking Ball. They switch to the Wrecking Ball. They want to be able to push. Wrecking Ball is knocking him going off one. Right. He's trying to lift 
for different positioning here. They should really. Oh, he he knocks he knocks them all up, but he won't be able to get out. He's not gonna get out. He gets trapped by the. Oh, he gets trapped by the junk rat. Oh. All right. They are this this Hugo team is just incredibly defensive, and they have consistent damage they can pump out to keep them from losing the point. I think this somber. I think this somber is just not a good pick here. They need to switch off the play. Something more offensive. They need something a lot more offensive. His teammate, his teammate needs healing. He has to get. He needs to put that orb of um, healing on his junk rat. His junk rat's about to die. Thank. You. There you go. There you go. All right, junk rat coming back to health. All right, Zingya. Their team, team Hugi is still really close to their ultimates. It's still really close to their ultimates. They're gonna, um, they're gonna have a lot, a lot to work with, especially with that junk rat ult. He can just wipe all three of them in one blow. Sombra coming up on all ultimate too, so her goal should be to get her ult as fast as possible so she can wipe them out. Junkrat ult finds the Tracer. Wow. Team Hugi defends perfectly. That was a perfect round. Couldn't have done it any better. Score. Zero to one. Switching sides. Initiating match. You started here. Ready for battle. Attackers incoming in thirty seconds. Right. So we got the Sombra, the Team Hampton. Oh, wait, that's no, Team. Actually, Team Hampton uh, still going for that Sombra and Bastion. It'll work out a little bit, bit better for them this round because they are defending, and Bastion is really good at defending objectives. But Team Hugo are also going to go for the Bastion themselves. I wonder what they plan to accomplish with that. Um, Bastion does have a lot of self-healing, so he can heal himself, so he doesn't have to rely too much on the Zingata for healing. Um, I think where Team Hampton is falling short is that they don't have a healer. They don't have consistent healing. If you don't have consistent healing, you have to rely on health packs. And I, the only person I've seen on Team Hampton relying on those health packs is the Sombra, which means she's been retreating far back to base. I don't. Why is uh, Sombra needs to push here? Sombra needs to push here. Sombra really needs to push here. attacked by the Sombra though, but the Sombra immediately retreats. All right, they, t Team Hampton switched to Farah. I wonder what they plan to do with that. Well, she gets eliminated. Um, they can just cap this, they can just cap this point once and they win. They just have to cap that one bar and they win.
Team um, Hampton is one. It's one. Team Huger is zero. Um, had a little mix up with the names there again. <laughs> um, but if Team um, if if Team Hampton wins this next round, they will win the entire match. So Team Huger has to use this opportunity to capitalize. For the Bastion again. This Bastion has been highly favored in this tournament. Bastion has been really highly favored. <laughs> I'm still looking at these teams, and Team Team Hampton just has so much more sustain than Team Huger. Team Huger wants to go for that offense, but when you have a Zingala and a Bastion who can consistently self heal. There's not much you can do towards that. There's not much you can do towards them. Wrecking Ball just gets mowed down there. Wrecking Ball just gets mowed. That bar is really weak. The bar is really weak. She'll get, she'll get killed with one more shot. Yep, there we go. And as you can see, Bastion has self-healing and he also has armor. But they just, but the um, breaking ball just rushes the point. Oh, but he gets eliminated. All right. I, I think Hugo Street, if they don't they don't get more healing it's gonna be really hard for them to just get anything done yep. they've been trying to cap this point but they haven't they don't they don't they don't rush to the point as a team they're all rushing in individually and this somber and the somber just keeps playing back and playing back and playing back not it's not really helping their team See you later. so I think they need to switch to something a lot more offensive besides the Sombra because they have the far doing consistent damage but they also need just healing in general because now the Rhine the Rhine and Bastion can just sit up top and just shoot whatever walks there it's like a it's like a Torbjorn turret just sitting there and just ready to shoot you and mow you down Ooh, Sommer gonna go for a sneaky flank on this Bastion. Oh no, Bastion goes for his ult. Alright. Sombra gets the ult on Zingata, but she doesn't capitalize on it. Mm. Sombra gonna go for a sneaky, sneaky flank on Zingata. Okay. There's a Ryan right behind her, and he's swinging. He's swinging away. He's swinging away. Yeah, she was so close to being being eliminated there. Team Hampton is just holding this point just exponentially, just very well. Oh wow, that was a good all by the wrecking ball, but he immediately retreats. They, for they forced the panic all out of Zenyatta. Put that whole discord on him. Yeah, they have to get rid of that um, wrecking ball. There we go. All right. Team Huger. Team Huger has like has one more chance to push this point. Oh. Sombra gets the hack on the Bastion. The Bastion's gonna. He has to, nah, there she goes. Sombra has ult to work with too. Sombra has the ult to work with too. She can just ult here. And she ult, she gets the Ryan and box that Ryan ult. Ryan ends up taking out the Ryan. They have to get out the 
<laughs> this bass is really weak. Team Hampton has just been decimating this entire tournament. Thought I'm Team Cooper is one of the best teams of the tournament, but they're getting completely outplayed by Hampton. Team Hampton's gonna be pushing this time. Can Team Huger hold them off? This is Huger's last chance to get this to win this match. Go ahead and well, um, Team Hampton seems to be going with the junk rat. That's going to be a lot of consistent damage. Oh, the Sombra gets the heck off. Oh wow. So Team Huger seems to be using the same strategy that Team Hampton has been using. Just pick a spot and camp it. Just pick a spot and camp it. That way you can mow down the enemy team when they walk right into you. So that junk rat is doing consistent damage. Brad gets wiped. Yeah, Team Huger still has no healer. Team Huger still has no healer. They have the self healing from Bastion, and that's about it. They need to find some. They need to. Their goal is to mow down the enemy team before they can walk straight into you. They can't walk straight in this door. What, the, the run can just start charge straight into this Bastion. Yep, there we go. Bastion had none of his teammates there with him. They just end up cleaning this point. They claim the point, just like that. And, well, Junkrat solo, solo capping. Yep. Team Hampton wins. Let's see who got play of the game. Play oh, the Bastion did. Team Huger's Bastion got play of the game. All right, everyone, so we are going to take a quick um, lunch break. Um, we'll be back in, I'd say, around 30 to 40 minutes. Well, 30 minutes tops. I don't really know. we got, like, at least three more brackets to go with our tournament. Hope you all are enjoying the stream. All right, sorry about the technical issues, everyone, but Team Hampton did win that um, first match on this con control um, bracket that we're doing. So they have one more match to go. It's best two out of three. 
And if they beat Team Gervais, they will move on to the final round against their opponent, who is TBD. Now arriving at Lee Jung Tower. Watch looks good on it. All right, on Li Zhang Tower. I've never seen Overwatch. Yeah, it has really good P PS graphics on PlayStation too. Ready for battle. Oh. Team Hampton going for the Cassidy. This is gonna be interesting. And Team Team Gervais switching to the Hanzo and the Zenyatta. Team um Team Gervais is gonna have a lot more consistent damage. So he's taking a flanking position. Okay. He's with that wrecking ball. He is getting healed by his Nerado. Oh, uh, good corner picking by the Cassidy. The objective is now. He's one. He's trying to figure out where he's getting shot from. <laughs> Team Hampton has stacked this tournament. They seem to be pushing off Team Team Gervais. Team Gervais needs to make a push here. They're just letting that Ryan freeform off of them. All right, the Zingata seems to be just carrying his team right now. Yo, Zingata gets a good elimination on the Cassidy. He's gonna get another elimination on this Zingata. The other enemy Zingata. Oh, he gets another elimination. That's a triple kill for the um, Team Gervais Zingata. Team Gervais Zingata said, I am not losing this game today. We are coming back. We are not losing this 2-0. Zingata's still alive. Are they gonna wipe him? Oh, he gets out. He gets out. Oh, but that Cassidy is slow. Gonna... Oh, he takes out the Cassidy. He takes out the Cassidy, but. Alright. Team Hampton. Team Hampton's Reinhardt is coming right back. Coming right back to spawn. He has an ult. Team, Team Hampton's Reinhardt has his ult to work with. Team Gervais has their ults coming online too. They do have that Zingata ult, which will heal their team. So if they need to, as long as it, as long as um, Gervais Zingata doesn't use his um, doesn't use his ult, panic. Uh, he panicked. He panicked. Team Z Team Gervais Zingata panicked. So now they can just push this point. Now they can just push this point. Oh wow, Team Team Hampton. Um, Oh wow, oh. Team Gervais says, no, you are not gonna push us like that. Team Gervais has two very valuable ones to work with. Oh. Team Gervais misses a valuable um Reinhardt all. Team raising Reinhardt goes straight off the map to his death. Right, 
Hanzo uses his all. Right, this Hanzo has to push this. This Hanzo has to push this. He's getting pushed out of Cassidy. He has to take out that Cassidy. They want to make something happen. They got to take out that Cassidy. Ah. Never Zing Gervais takes out the um, Zingata getting too bloodthirsty there. The Zingata was a little bit too bloodthirsty there. All right, Zingata's gonna heal the um, Hanzo right back up. What game plan are they gonna look for here? All right, Cassidy ulting. Cassidy's ulting. He's not gonna get a good auto off here. He only get he only gets the Reinhardt. He only gets the Reinhardt. Cassidy down a valuable art, but that's a valuable that's a valuable pick. Oh, they get another Team Hampton gets another pick. Oh, Team Hampton wins that round. Score one zero. All right, we're gonna get started on this next round. Said, uh, it's better to no wait to see the weaken the um, enemy team, then go for the ult, because it'll, it'll lock. The weaker they are, the faster the headshot person zooms in. Alright, so we got a, we have a Baptiste, Wrecking Ball, and a Far for Team Gervais. And we have a Soul. Wow, Bastion jumps off the map. We have a Soldier, we have a Soldier, a Zagata, and a Ryan, and a Ryan for Team Hampton. Trying to push in, but they're trying to push in too slow. They're not good at all. That's cool. Far gets the pick on the soldier. That's a very valuable pick. Team Gervais is going to capture the point. Oh, Far gets wiped by the Zingata. Oh, Team Hampton claims a team kill. Team, team Hampton want to be a little bad manner. They're going to switch to the Far themselves. Far said, the far on Hampton says, let me show you how you play far. Oh, oh wow, that Ryan's just, gonna, just going in mindlessly. He's going to get wiped. He does have to heal. Ooh, he gets, he gets the heal on his Reinhardt. The Reinhardt's just going to heal up pretty nicely. There's nothing to test from him. Baptiste is going to get the first off. Oh. Good all. Uh, good elimination. Uh, far is just by himself. Experience tranquility. Uh, the Zinata just wastes a value, very valuable ult there, but I don't really think he needs it anywhere. Um, but that far does have her ult coming online, and all she has to do is get a good angle on her entire team, and she'll wipe their entire team with her, her ultimate, her rocket barrage. He does need to heal his far, his far is in the air. He's very weak. Oh, oh. He's killed by the Ryan. Oh, Far gets eliminated. Far does have that barrage online though. My team needs me. Ryan has his ultimate to work with too. I think, I think overall, Hampton has just been uncontested. Far holds, but gets no one. Far catches no one. Far catches no one. She just has to sit there. Maybe Far just... I think, I think Team Hampton just gets the free farm their all. They don't have their tank. They can be, they can push this point. Team Gervais can push this point. There's no tank on the side of, of Hampton. Team Gervais should just push this. Team Gervais... Wildflower gets that elimination. Oop, gets a double kill. 
gets a double kill. Mara gets, Mara gets a double kill. Oh, there's a there's a Baptiste. Oh, and the far gets eliminated. Oh, Team Gervais did claim the point. My team. So I think this is a battle of the tanks. If you can get rid of a team's tanks, you can you everyone else follows behind them. Goes for the oh, and he gets it. Oh, oh this is a battle of the bars here. The battle of the bars. Oh, that bar could have punished there when he knocked him out. But it looks like Team Hampton's just gonna claim this map pretty easily. Victory. Wildflower gets play of the game. Exactly. You did well. All right, we're gonna go to a quick intermission to get the other team set up. It's gonna be Team Hemp. It's gonna be Team.
right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and get started with our second match of this bracket. It's going to be Team Huger versus Team Assembly. Got some pretty stacked teams going up against each other. Welcome to Oasis. Initiating the match. Get those zoomy zoomy cars. <laughs> that, that's what I think back to that was go May and then right on them with the I think All right, we got some interesting comps working here. We got We got the Fara, the Wrecking Ball and the Sombra on team Yugi and we got the Ana, the Reinhardt and the Bastion on team I'm on ready team for assembly. This is going to be a really interesting matchup. Right, the first priority for many of these, for both of these teams, is going to, well, for Team Huger, is going to be to deal with that Bastion. You, you have to get rid of that Bastion, or that Bastion is going to free farm on all your entire team. <laughs> yeah, this Sombra is going to be. This, this Sombra has to revolve around getting into the back line. Oh, Sombra gets the hack of the Rhine. Sombra gets the hack of the Rhine. They eliminate that Rhine. They're going to eliminate the Rhine. Oh, he gains back. He gains back. Oh, uh, some Sombra retreats. Yeah, they don't have a healer, so they're going to have to heavily rely on um, the health backs. Yeah. So this Sombra's play style is going to be very retreat heavy. Sombra will, will uh, right she, Sombra, going back. yeah, Sombra, she needs to put her, um, her no, trans, right her translocators <laughs> back down and places closer to the objective, right. like on that health back because she won't, yeah, she won't be able, she won't be able to help them, yeah. oh, yeah, when she gets left, yeah. that Ryan, that Ryan yeah. running straight for her, yeah. Yeah. finds yeah. it. Assembly's just gonna take this point pretty freely. Yeah, not really being contested. The, the Sombra just tends to retreat instead of just um, staying with their team and being offensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, went for the Bastion. Good hack, good hack. That Bastion gets eliminated. Alright, now they have to get rid of that Ana. Oh, the Ana goes for a um, bio grenade. That's a bio grenade. Oh no, she gets out. She gets out. She has Ryan there to protect her. Don't mind me. Oh, but she gets the she gets the hack on the line. The Ryan's gonna swing at her though. Nice, good teleport. Good teleport. Need she needs here. to put that teleport yeah, closer. Yeah. Earth Shatter and the Nano. Earth Shatter and the Nano. That Ryan, that Ryan is about to just oh, free farm. Sombra's working on her all here. Yeah, this Sombra needs to put the, the teleport closer to the, the map. Me, yeah. me. There you go. Sombra's, Sombra's uh, aiming to get good fix. I think she's gonna go for an own here. She does, she does. They can just push here. They can push here, but that Ryan is swinging on the Sombra. Oh, she gets eliminated. She gets eliminated. <laughs> Assembly is just using this middle part of the map to just completely disorient Team Huger. And now, oh, Bastion gets eliminated and walks straight into the mine. But this, this Ryan is free falling. This Ryan, um, can deal damage. Oh, he gets the May. Team Assembly just popping off this game. They have insane control over this map. Oh, Somber retreats at the worst moment. Team Assembly wins that in dominant fashion, 100% to zero. Alright, so... Alright. 
Team Huger is going for the Bastion, Reinhardt, and Sombra. Really good DPS combo. While Team Assembly is going for the Ana, the Rhin, and the Bastion. Yeah, they worked really well. They were completely decimating enemy team. It's also, they also won that game in dominant fashion because the Sombra would consistently would put her on. Ooh, they get the run. They get the Bastion on the first end. They get the Bastion on the first end. All right, that's all right, yeah. But they did get rid of the Bastion, so that wasn't a, a really great pick. The objective is the Bastion. Team Assembly gets the hack. Team Assembly gets the hack on all. Well, Team Huber gets the hack on the enemy Ana. Oh, oh, that Ryan goes. Oh, they were being claimed by enemy Bastion. Oh, the new Bastion gets him out. Team Huger is looking a lot more alive this game. Like, oh, yeah, Ana's gonna go for the sleep dart. Ana should go for the sleep dart here. She has it. And then she missed the sleep dart. Oh, and they get the lead. This game is already looking a lot closer. Oh, she's still gonna get it. She's still gonna get it. Oh, Team Assembly's Ryan is just swinging. He's, he's like, he's like, I'm the better Ryan than you. No, but he gets completely beat. He gets completely beat by enemy Ryan. Enemy Ryan hat is gonna fall back to his health back. Team Huger Ryan is gonna fall back to his health back. He only has 15 health to work with though. I think he should have still gotten that health back. Yeah, oh, he dies in one hit. He needs to back off to him. Oh, yep. It's eliminated. You really don't see an auto flanking. I mean, it works. It works. It works. It works. It works. They're going to take the point. Team Assembly caps the point. Just like that. This game is already so much closer. Ryan goes for an all and gets it on the Sombra. He solo ults to Sombra. Ooh. If they're coming in one by one, maybe it's not a bad choice. Team Assembly has, Team Assembly has, um, they have Nano to go for them. Oh, he can go for that Nano. Oh, he gets his heals though. Oh, should have Nano there. She should have Nano there, but he got mowed down as soon as he walked in. That's alright. That's alright, they got two, they got the best one there. So, Nano's the best one, they get the next push. I think that's probably the plan. All right, Team Huger's Bastion is really close to his ultimate. A little bit, a few more hits. Oh, Sombra's also winning. Oh, she nanos the, she nanos the Bastion. Oh, but he gets hacked. He gets hacked. He can't do anything. Oh, he tries to ult there. Oh, both Bastions are gone. Yeah, uh, he took the enemy with the uh, Huger's Bastion. Huger Bastion took himself out. Team Huger has just been absolute look, has looked alive in this round. Oh, I mean, especially compared to last one, it's much closer. 8950 where you know Huger's in control. It's a lot closer. Oh wow! Oh, gets the MP, gets all of them with him. Is he, are they gonna capitalize? No, he gets out. He goes all the way back to spawn. Oh, throws it back at spawn. Somber still there. Oh, they cap it. Team Assembly, Team Assembly wins. playing Spain, playing so very good for Bastion. And you're playing uh, 
Alright, we're gonna switch it. We're gonna put out here, Mission. But for the Sombra, Sombra's a good one to. No, 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 no. I mean, yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Alright. Travelling to the park. Initiating match. So you hit these buttons. So the first three are these first four functions. The first three function keys. And the other three are these keys down here. It's like these keys down here. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, just, just touch the function keys until you figure out. Alright, this next map is Nepal. Another yeah, control map. They can. It'll stand that way. Oh. Oh, because I have you muted. Ready for that. I have you muted. Hello? Alright, I'm back up. <laughs> Alright. We're going to this next game. And I'm going to be here for a moment. Alright. We're just gonna step away for a moment, but I'm here with y'all, okay? All one. Love you. Four, All right. Three, so, two, this one. is our game two round of Huger and Assembly. It looks like Huger has a Vine, Bastion, and Sombra. And then the same, same composition as the last time. And then Team Assembly has the Ana, Vine, and Bastion. We'll see how Bastion uh, fares on this map. It's, it's a bit difficult, even though he has those corners. It's a bit difficult just because he's so sleeping. So it looks like Ryan's going in. Ooh, that's a good pin. That's a good pin. Oh, I got mowed down by the Bastion, though. Got mowed down by the Bastion, and it looks like Hugo's in control at the moment. Ryan definitely is healing, but that's the thing. They don't have any heals on their team. Let's see. Let's see how... Oh, I was going to see how that... Uh, that Sombra fares, but it looks like that Bastion's alone. That's still on point, though. He's on that corner. He's slowing him down. He's slowing him down. He's hidden anything. It looks like he's hidden, but he has to fall back now. Yep, he's going in here. Yep. He gets the kill, but then he gets it. Oh, Ana has to sleep. He's gonna do a grenade. Yep. And he gets one more shot. That's it. That's it. Sombra's gonna have to hack. Hawk Sombra's on point. If Sombra can win this. 1v1 on and Sombra. Oh, translocator back. Oh, Bastion's back on point. Let's see where the Sombra. Sombra looks like they did their translocator mm -hmm. close oh, to the no. point this time. Get the Bastion. Oh, they got the hack off on the Ana. See if they can take this Ana down. Oh, now the Bastion got in the way. Just right, let's see, let's see. Oh, 
I blocked the earth shatter. Blocked the earth shatter. It looks like a little bit of a. We got a far out. We got a far coming in. There we go. That's a much better combo than it. It's a far and on a run. I like that a lot. There we go. Looks like they're all pushing point now. Yep. He's gonna start swinging. He gets knocked by the, the pin, but he doesn't get pinned. Looks like that runs super low. Oh, he gets it though. Looks like it's the far and honor though. You then get one more hit on the run. There it is. So it looks like Hugo's gonna take the point here. And it's too far too late as Assembly almost has 60. Let's see, Ryan's staying still for a second. Maybe they're switching. I switch over to Bastion. Alright. Assembly seems to be working with the Bastion. Oh. Gets a good elimination on the far Oh, he's got a nano got that Ryan. Ryan has nano. He can just free, free swing and he won't die. Yep, so you think he's gonna get that on him? Uh, looks like, looks like Assembly's gonna take it back here. Oh, no, there's a Bastion. He's got the solo Bastion. Oh! He gets pinned on the Ryan Hart. Yep. Team Assembly takes out that. Said, said there by Bastion. Oh. He took one it. with him. He took one with him. Alright, so this far is gonna die here. She needs to get in here. Yep. Good job, Good job. Ryan, but, uh, but she doesn't have much space to, to work with. Right. She doesn't have much space to work with. She's going up a bit. Oh, she gets nano. She gets nano. No, it looks like they got to sleep. Yep, they got to sleep on the other one. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Oh. There it is. There it is. They're gonna push that back. He does the double he feels right here, he can hit Bastion with his own thing. Oh, they're gonna try to take out this far. Bastion's gonna make me out. Oh, this far is coming close to Gotta get down, gotta get down, gotta get down. Yep. Go, go, go. There you go. Yep. Oh, what a sweep. Gets the team what a sweep. Kill. That's gets, play of the game. Gets the team kill. That's play of the game right there. Wow. Wipes the entire point with a far all. How do we say that? You know, Team Huger has had a lot of, you know, mix ups in this game. We now have a junk rat. Uh, hamster para composition, we whereas see. we started with Sombra, Ryan, and Bastion. Yeah, team, team, um, Hugo has just been alternating and changing their strategy. It looks like they found something right now. Yeah, they really don't like that Bastion. They're <laughs> trying to make his life visible. Yeah. They're gonna charge them, though. That Ryan's gonna charge. They can punish that Ryan for charging. Yeah, they still have no heals. They don't have much healing, though. That's where they're gonna yep. fall. That's where they're gonna fall short. No healers. That, uh, oh, Ana pushes out that Nano. Oh. Yep, that'll happen. That nano, that nano is something else, man. There we go. Overtime, that one's good. Okay. Good round, y'all. Good round. Team Assembly takes the first round of game two, but that was a very close, very close match. Very close match. Not yet, you got one more round. Setting up, yo. Let's see the composition. They look the same as last round. Anyone need, Anyone need a break? Anyone need a break? Thumbs up if you need a break. You need a break? Need a break? You want water? Yeah, pause real quick. Alright, we're gonna pause up real quick. Alright. Alright, we're gonna pause up. Let's have a water break. Any snacks or anything? Go and grab something. Water break. Take a break. Discuss strategy. Discuss strategy. Oh, you started semifinals.
go ahead and get started back here. Um, All right, thumbs so up. We ready? Someone need a little water break. Thumbs up, team assembly. All right, we ready. Let's right, go. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. Five seconds in. Oh, yeah, team, let's go. team Huger switches to the Brigida. Thank you. I don't dislike that. Versatile healer, if you can. Oh, yeah, this bears out. Looks like they're just trying anything, you know? Yeah, trying to bring it back. Like, Assembly's oh, got him on the ropes. Oh, right That's alright, he'll get it back soon. Right. Like, he's looking. <laughs> he's look, he yeah, looks yeah, back he's at like, the turret. He's like, what is that? What you doing? <laughs> he's like, what is that? <laughs> oh. Alright. So he's gonna want to put that turret down. Oh, oh he yeah, puts yeah. it right there. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's a bad spot though. This is not gonna be able to get on the enemy team. Yep. Maybe if he can get it up high there, that'll be best. Oh, oh like he's just right there. Yeah, yeah right to uh, Bastion's fire. Oh, oh he gets the Bastion. He gets the Bastion. He gets the Bastion. He the Bastion. Oh, he, oh, up, he yeah. gets pushed though. He gets himself he pushed into the corner. He got stunned at, uh, and yeah. Oh, it looks like Assembly's got that Nano. They can get to either Ryan, if they get the Ryan Nano, that Earth Shadow is gonna be something else, man. Okay, they got something. Looks like they're gonna nano. Team Huger is just trying oh, to get him off. He doesn't need the nano, but he sends it out anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't want to need that wrecking ball off the point, yeah. Looks like wrecking ball is just gonna come off the bed. Yep, good grenade. Good grenade gets him. Team Huger has not even cast the point once. Oh, they get the. Oh, they're gonna need the grenade real quick. Oh, they got one. 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 Oh, Genji! Oh, oh, Far in between, we got it. We got a future. We're trying stuff out, man. The thing about that is, it's hard to get the the ultimate up yeah, if you're switching be. off. But uh, it looks really like successful. Wrecking Ball's about to get it. So they're gonna go on point. Get the shield. There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh wow! Oh, Ryan got the shield up in time. You see if you can get that keeping. Oh. Like he did a bit of self heal there just to get enough. Yeah, he didn't capitalize on when they were weak. He's gonna stick with the Genji. Oh, yeah. we need to get there. They done that in dominant fashion. Team the same thing. That's all right. That's right. That's, that's okay. Works. That's okay though. That's okay though. Good fighting by both teams. Good fighting by both teams. MGC2, good play of the game though. Wow. This far play. That's right, this was the uh the one that we talked about to take that point. She is 95. She gets it there. Ryan pulls back, yep. So they take that point. Alright. It was good games on that part. We're gonna move to the control final. See how it goes.
our final. It's going to be Team Hampton versus Team Assembly. Team Hampton came out swinging in that first in the first round they played. Um, if Team Hampton wins this round, they will they will win the entire tournament. If Team Assembly wins this round, they can reset the bracket and they have to do another. And then Team Hampton will have to win another map, or Team Assembly will have to win another map to win the entire game. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Traveling. Initiating the match. Then the team seems to be uh, going for Ryan and Yada and Junkrat, so their goal is to um, push back the attacking team as much as possible. Team Hampton's going to do their best to defend them. Um, and team, team Assembly is going to try to work with the Bastion, see what they can do with him. I don't really think the Bastion is going to be useful for pushing unless he gets on top of the turret. Still working with that bastion, he's trying to make it work. Anything that walks over that edge, he's gonna mow it down, and that's exactly what he's doing. That's exactly what he's doing, mowing down anything that walks over that edge. Oh, there's a junk rat in the back line though. Oh, he gets the he gets the elite elo on the junk rat. It's just simply it's just uh, push this it's just pressing the attack. Ryan has his Earth Shadow to work with. Ryan has his Earth Shadow to work with. They have to figure out how to deal with this Bastion. They don't deal with that Bastion. They're not going to deal with that Bastion. Alright, the Bastion is just pushing. The Bastion is just pushing. Assembly's Bastion is coming up on his own though. He just needs to free farm here. Alright. Team Hampton's Grind and Junk Rat have both have a lot to work with. Sure, they can find their own. Let's go for this. Alright, Junk Rat is assaulted. Oh, he gets, he gets the Bastion. 
Gets to sleep dark, she's gonna retreat out of here. Team Assembly Ryan goes out there. Oh, Bastion has to cover. Oh, he tries to go for the ult, but he gets right. The Bastion is going into the ult. Oh. Oh. Bastion tries to use the ult, but then he needs the auto defensively ult to get out. Yana has her Dano to work with, so they can just keep pushing this one. And well, they have just been stuck here. They only, they only have their they only have their Yana uh, all to work with. Yana could have had a good Dano there, but she didn't. The Bastion does eliminate though. Bastion just gets himself eliminated. This thing Yana is just just tearing apart everything. <laughs> hey, we don't call our teammates trash. We don't call our teammates trash. Oh, never mind, never mind. Junkrat's gonna look for a health pack. A health pack. Team Assembly's just gonna keep pushing this point. Team Team Hampton seems to be sticking with the same combo. That it works really well. Uh, it's consistent uh, um, Team Assembly is going for the um, Bastion, Ryan, and Bastion, Ryan, and Ana. They're on the defending side. They should probably push towards this point right now. Again. Oh, he's still 
Team Assembly's Ryan still loses that one. Diana has the one with Discord on her. She has move out of vision. Oh, she gets the sleep dart in, in close range. Solo the Ryan. No, he just walks in, walks in straight rain and gets the um, sleep dart on him. Oh, uh, but the jump rat cleans him up. Team Hampton's Ryan is, is still on, um, is, has his Earth Shadow ready. And Team Team Hampton has a few more ults coming up. Team Yada at 70 and Jump Rat at 70%. Once both of these get their ults, they just have so much to work with compared to, um, Compared to Team Assembly, they just switch to the um, Hanzo for a little bit more damage. But they don't have a tank, they'll just get mowed down. Um, he tries to get those high heroes. But he gets pressured by the Ryan. Alright. Team Hampton's just getting pushed in, it's just getting pushed in. Team Assembly is just getting pushed in. Team Hampton wins this first round. Andy Cap. started with the next round Alright. A 
Initiating latch. I still think Rex should get sportsmanship or best team player. Cause we're he's gonna love it. I mean, the thing is, because of this, now if they win, he's gonna get surprised. They go up because they're round up. Ready for battle. I know what I'm doing. Hampton seems to be working with Ed Reinhardt, Reinhardt, Farah, and Zenyatta, and Team Simbly is working with Norisa, Reinhardt, and Anna. They're going for double tank. What? Team Assembly's on offense and they're pushing with. I'm, I'm curious to see what um, Team Assembly is going to do with this double tank combo. Hey everyone, I'm back. <laughs> I was playing before. Uh, we decided to switch off so we can change up the, the prices a little bit. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Ryan gets oh, both. Yeah. Oh, but he gets eliminated. A bit too low for that. Team, team Assembly attacking? really has to push here. Who's attacking? Assembly. assembly and then I can win. They have two dead right now. They, can push. Yeah, the they have one on point now. There you go, they're on point. Right team assembly needs to push right here. They're up, yep. Arissa, Arissa can get that. They can do a, um, them down. Oh, Zen. Yeah, that's true. Or the team Hampton's Zen is team something else. Team assembly has to push this point. They're pushing. They have three. Alright, they have the far. That's not a bad choice in this map. This far isn't is staying on the ground. She's just yeah, gonna get gonna get hit in this hallway. Yeah, okay, she's yeah. not gonna be able to do much here. I think about half of that damage there was from herself. Yeah. Here we go. We got Nana on the point still. Nana's oh, no. still pushing the point. <laughs> oh, there's a Zenyatta there though. Oh, yeah, he's gonna get that back up into the corner. They're gonna move. This Zenyatta's just having a field day. That's what you think, bud. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you get to put that on me. I feel like um, Team Assembly should favor the Zingata or something with a little bit more sustained healing themselves. They're not really getting much done with this Ana. Yeah, this, uh, this Ana doesn't have much value. This Ana is not giving them much value. <laughs> Ryan on Ryan Miles again. Yeah, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ryan claims, claims the yep, double kill. Uh, Team Assembly right claims yep, the double kill. Pushing. He's going to push for that Zon. Oh, but he gets, he's going to get... Oh, the Zenyatta panic ults. Team Assembly just pushing them off, saying, Nope, we will take this play load. Thank you very nice. Alright, uh, this Ana needs to heal her Orisa. Alright, I really like this um, double tank combo, but you gotta keep those tanks alive right. in order for it to work. Right, I can't always give as much damage out to the, especially in Orisa and Orion. Yeah, they can't give out enough really have to focus to, uh, on keeping these tanks alive. Yeah, oh, there it is. He has to keep the tanks alive. Oh, uh, couldn't get to anywhere. Donna's all by herself. That Ryan's like, hey, I'm coming to deal with you now. <laughs> Ryan, right there. <laughs> you try this. Oh, Ryan, just a free hit on there. 
But team, um, team assembly is gonna cap yeah. the point. They are really close. Yeah, but they are solid quick here. Their wrist is out. They're not working with double tank. They really have to uh, keep them alive. Gameplay. You realize how important it is, but use it. <laughs> you can breathe. You're good. Y'all did well. Ready for battle. It really wasn't me, man. Well? <laughs> I'm telling you, it really wasn't me. There's uh, Cyrus and the Righteous. Good team to go off, man. There's something else. <laughs> Come on, face me. Attackers, I'm talking about the mic. I'll give the mic to Sportsmanship. Alright, now we have and there's this uh, turnaround for Team, let's see, Team Assembly is now defending. And team Hampton is now trying to push the point. All they have to do is get it past 83.62 meters. Let me see. Are we good here, Cody? Looks like we're alright. I don't know if we cut it out before. Thank you, SM. There you go. He gets pushed out with Sheriff One. There we go. There we go. The Hampton's getting pushed. Wow. The Hampton's pushing. All they have to do is get that 83.62. Cody's giving them a little bit of cushion at the moment. They need some help. Right now they're pushing. They got three on the payload. Can they get back in time? They got one. They stepped off. There's the two. It goes even faster if they got all three. Yep. See how quickly that meter's gone down. They're already at 40. They're about halfway from what they need to do to get this point. Again, they got three minutes to get about 20 meters. They're pushing slowly. It looks like this. Uh, looks like this bastion's lost. <laughs> You might not know the map. They're just looking for an open space. It looks like they're lost. There we go. Let's get a far on. They're so close. They're so, so close. They need to get three more meters. Yeah, it looks like that best would be slow before it's getting taken out. There's the point. There's the cap. games that's it good games that's it that's the game I like that that's back run it back don't lose I got time for one more chance There's three people watching. All right, everyone, we're gonna go ahead and get this on. This last game, this last, last game. started. Right. Yeah. We're gonna do a hybrid. So it's supposed to be it, but we're running it back, because. Someone drew. I don't. You know what? I got time for another game. Huh? Welcome. We got time for another, yeah, for sure. Ooh, Hollywood, the last one. Yeah, that's a good one. Initiating you stay over here? Yep. He's gonna coach. What's up? 
Fair enough. Come to check it out. Alright. So who's winning right now? Right now we have Team Hampton on this side. Is winning at the moment. If they win one more game, they win. They win these? Yeah. Yeah, so we made an agreement. Uh, we're going to give uh, Regis and Cyrus that if they win, because they won fair and square. But since, uh, since Andrew hopped in last game, he's only going to take the headphones and he's going to give the microphone to someone who had the best sports team. He's like, it's good work. So, yeah. <laughs> Mike, what do you need a mic for? Um, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. Alright. Let's set up this game. Alright, y'all. We have Team Hampton is defending this escort here. Okay, so my team is out. Cool. Your team? I believe so. What? I believe so. What team were you? Defend Yep. You lost to assembly last time. That's all right. That's a lot of good run. See how this uh, offense is doing. Got the honor trying to get in here for the snipe. Oh, you missed the sleep. Good grenade. Good grenade. Ryan can't do anything, but honor doesn't have a team there. Ryan's got the honor. 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 Ryan's got the I'll that's right, that's right. Let's see how this far is holding off the point. I got this Zen that's sniping them, man. Let's see how they're getting. They, they, got, a, they got a heal on the Ryan. Ryan's going to have to pull back. He wants to survive that. He's pushing in still. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. That Ryan doesn't look like it's going to make it much farther. But he gets the pin. He gets the pin all the way to the end of the map. That's going to push him back far. It looks like... Who's there? They're wrecking ball. Yeah, wrecking ball. Yeah, wrecking ball. The shadow of the well, it looks like Assembly's about full health on most players. On is a little low. On has nano now. I wonder who she's gonna give it to. Not sure if her teammates have much. Rocket barrage incoming. To the point though. It looks like Wrecking Ball got around. Wrecking Ball got around. One more, one more. There it is. Let's move to the face. That'll do it. Oh, they got someone on point though. Looks like they're playing around. 
Got a wrecking ball, wrecking ball. Oh, so, so close. You can see how close. Good, Captain. Good defense. All right. All Hampton has to do is capture this one, one tick of the point in order to get the prize. Let's see if they can handle it. There's a lot of pressure on them. Initiating match. Resend through. We see the point. We see it so close to their spawn. If they can get through that defense. See, it looks like we're assembling the heroes. We move around. Ooh, look at me figuring stuff out, y'all. Looks like we got a point. I'm running into buildings. Man, this game's so cool. We don't talk about it enough. All right. You can see the nice, uh, nice movie theater for them, and we've got a nice little cowboy Hollywood setting over here. So defense is going to push through. Team assembly's got to defend. They're just waiting out the door. After those 20 seconds go by, they can push through. They get all the way to the point. That's their goal. Hampton gets that one tick. That's all they need. In our five seconds, let's get it started. Three, two, one, push. We got a Farah, Ryan, Zenyatta on the uh, attack, the and then we have a Bastion, Anna, and Ryan here at the point defending. So Ryan's pulling it right there. It looked like Fair tried to get the, the shock blast to push him back. Bastion's raining on him from above. Good defense, good defense. Yep, he's gonna push the Zenyatta. Good. Good push by the Ryan, but it looks like they're not gonna get anything. It looks like they're not gonna get anything. Can they fall back? Good healing by Anna. Yep, gonna get it back in time. Couldn't get back in time. We'll see what the far can do. Looks like she's noticing the, the Ana up top. Try to push that. Not bad. Ana falls back. Good choice. Good choice. Looks like they need that one tick. They're on point. They only need one. That's all they need. And that's it. That's the game. Good games by everyone. Good games. That. At the end of the Midlands Gaming Academy Tournament. Well done to all competitors. Very well done. Play of the game. This is Reinhardt. Reinhardt was pushing in, man. We had a very, very offensive run by this first jump. Push to the soldier. See if we get a uh, hit on the Lucio here. Just one hit. That's all it takes. Good games. Good games by <laughs> everyone. All right. Be back in just a second. Appreciate all y'all watching. GGs. GGs.